Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. As we move deeper into summer, a common insect that can cause serious issues for horses is showing up in larger numbers this year. We're talking about blister beetles. Here's SUNUP's Curtis Hare and our extension alfalfa specialist, Kelly Seuss. Well, it's in between cutting for the alfalfa producers. So Kelly, you know, let's take a look back into the spring. How was the alfalfa crop looking in going into summer? Early on, we had some really good moisture. Uh, guys were cutting uh, early. Some, some, some folks were cutting early, late uh, April, early May. So had really good cuttings. Uh, continued moisture was uh, progressing pretty well through the, the second cutting in uh, late, maybe late May, early June. This time of the year, uh, if it's dry land alfalfa, probably not so much. That, that things, are, things are slacking off a little bit. We may have a late cutting uh, later in the summer, late uh, early fall, but uh, right now, if it's dry land with all this heat and uh, uh, dryness we're having right now, it's probably uh, not too much going on as far as the hay cutting. Yeah, if, when it comes to the cutting, maybe not much going on, but probably when it comes to the pests, this is the time of year where a lot of producers are going out in their field and starting to notice more activity. Right. Uh, I've gotten several reports of, of uh, striped blister beetle activity, uh, uh, mostly in the north, eastern parts of the state uh, so far, but uh, in some other reports as well. Uh, this is the time of year that we normally see that activity. Uh, we have other species that we that, that are common in Oklahoma, but the one we have to really uh, worry about and deal with is the striped blister beetle. They, uh, they're the ones that have the most concentration of cantharidin, which is a toxic uh, chemical that can cause damage to uh, livestock and when feeding the hay to that, to that particular uh, livestock uh, interest, especially horses. And they, they, can, they can cause severe problems and uh, even death to horses. Well, horses, obviously, we're, our horse owners are always concerned about blister beetles, but when it comes to other livestock um, and our ruminant animals, is, are they as big of an issue? They, they can be affected, but not near as much. Uh, I mean, uh, we, don't, we don't see near as many problems with the, the ruminant animals, uh, cows and, 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 and goats and things like that as we do uh, horses. So out in the fields, what, what is a good way for producers to scout? Is it going to be pretty obvious with, with blister beetles? It's, uh, it is sometimes hard to, uh, if, you're, if you've got a, uh, in, in, in an alfalfa field, if you're cutting or if you're getting ready to cut, uh, scouting and going out and, uh, and uh, looking for swarms, the, the, the striped blister beetles are notorious for swarming and, and they're kind of gregarious and they like to congregate together. And so this time of year, they're, they're looking at, uh, uh, you know, if you're going out and scouting, you, you, you'll see a lot of activity. You'll see like this, the ground t tends to move. I mean, you'll, you'll see, even up on a swather, you'll see if it's a big enough area, you'll see uh, things moving and you'll see some, some activity like that. And that's a good sign. In a, in a smaller situation where you're uh, in, a, in a pasture uh, in a, in a, that has a lot of weeds or some other areas around your barn, you might see uh, just a lot of feeding activity and you'll be, you'll be able to see them on the plants pretty easily that way. Because it's not just alfalfa, they're getting to the other- Right, right, right. We, I'm getting reports from uh, hay meadows, things like that, that are, that are being infested, uh, grass pastures, uh, even areas around barns where people keep their livestock. That's a, that's a problem as well. If, if, they, if they're attracted to the flowering structures of the weeds, and so uh, if you can control the weeds in that area, you have a better chance of uh, reducing the, the, the number of uh, beetles in your area. So why, why this, this summer, is it a kind of a cyclical thing or is it just it's, uh, right, right it's, conditions? They, 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 they thrive in hot, dry conditions, but we've also in the last several years and, and this year, as you've noticed, there's a, a lot of grasshoppers. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind of symbiotic in which the, if we have a lot of grasshopper population in one summer, then the blister beetles later in the year, they feed on grasshopper eggs that are laid in the short mm. areas of the, of the soil in, in, in cracks and crevices. They feed on them to get a good nutrient source to overwinter. They come out next, next spring, and if they have a good, if have a good uh, food source and wintering, then they can come out in full force next spring. Uh, and we, we see that they, they come out in about uh, late May to mid-June, and they, turn in, they, they pupate, turn into adults, and the cycle starts again for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the foraging. So when it comes to management, you discussed a little bit about you know, weed control, but is there also management that you could do maybe for, for grasshoppers to keep uh, blister beetle populations down as Gra well? Grasshoppers are, are a challenge because going into, the, going into that season, the later it gets in the season, the harder they are controlled because they get bigger, they're more mobile, they get to move around quite a bit. So, Early in the season, uh, as early in the season as possible, you start seeing them uh, activity. Then it's it's a good idea to maybe uh, 
treat those early and, and whether they're less mobile and less able to move around and get out of your uh, treatment zone, if you can get that done early, then you have a better chance of controlling them later in the season. All right, thanks, Kelly. Kelly Seuss, alfalfa specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a fact sheet about blister beetles, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.